Hello there, and welcome back to TerraFarmerCraft. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have been a little busy. See, we moved the house fire that was waiting to happen upstairs, downstairs. Now we have another floor that could burn down. Well, mostly. That's stone, that's clay, but yeah. Um, I've got all the wood set up down here, and it's actually organized by wood type in piles. So all the copic are here rows, etc. and so forth. Uh, the only ones not down here that I have are the oak because I have the oak in my kitchen. But yeah, now this room looks much more empty. I can actually rearrange a few things. This downstairs was supposed to be divided into like two or three different rooms and instead it's just become one giant empty room. But today we're going to go work on our sluice. We have a lot of resources to get through and I have not had a chance to play with the sluice yet in Terraforma Craft. And I was drying more bricks. Uh, they're taking a long time. It rained, so it like reset the progress on all of them. But yeah, I haven't had a chance to play with the sluice yet. So we are going to be setting up down here, I think. There's plenty of room. And what we can do, as I mentioned last time, is just knock out like this wall here. Dig a trench so the water comes in and then I'll have to see how far the water actually flows to figure out where I want to put the sluice. So let's do this. Oh, and by making sure there's a water plant here, it'll make sure that this actually doesn't freeze in the winter. Okay, what if I go... If I go one more this way before making a turn. Yeah, that works. And then I'll probably drop this floor down by another level so that I can easily get to the sluice. Now, if we look at the book quickly. The sluice takes two blocks. Must uh, Water must flow through the top of the sluice and out the bottom. All right. Must be an empty block down here. So if I stick the sluice... There. So that is the sluice working. So you want to place it so that the last block that the water is flowing down from wherever your source is, the water ends there, as you saw. If I pick this up now, no water is flowing there. Now this is, like I said, working properly. What I'm going to want to do is probably put a hopper here so that the water can flow into the hopper and I can collect items. How do you make a hopper in Terraformer Craft? Raw iron and a chest or two steel will give you two hoppers. I obviously don't have that prepped. I'm going to go do that. But let's go grab some gravel quickly. Uh, well, grab some water first. And get thirsty. Oh, and uh, restarting did apparently fix my warp speed windmill. Okay. So I just grabbed eight for now. Do I toss it there? Okay, you can. And you see how it's the gravel's getting placed on the sluice. And as it cycles through, it starts popping off. Step away, give it a chance to... Uh... <laughs> I don't know if a hopper down there is going to be an efficient way to pick it up. We got seven nuggets from eight bits of gravel. This also gives you a chance to get rough gems. Yeah, this actually works quite well. So yeah, this is a good way early game to get resources, metals, if you can find a gravel deposit. Uh, you do need enough metal to begin with in order to make a saw because you need the saw to make the sluice. But once you have the sluice crafted, you know, you could set this up along a river. You'd have to do something sort of like this. Obviously, you don't need to do it inside a building. You can do it just along the riverbank, but you need to have the water flowing in and over the sluice. But then you can do this as an early way of collecting resources if you're having trouble finding uh, resources on the surface. Okay, I need to clean this up, make it look nice. 
But yeah, now I can go grab all of my other resources. Toss them down and start collecting. Actually, I can probably leave those there. Because I'm going to do stairs, stairs, and then... Yeah. Yeah, that, that's nice. But yeah, so this is a good way to collect early game resources once you have a saw, which to be fair is pretty easy to make early game. You just need one ingot's worth of metal. And you can make it out of copper, I believe. Yes, you can. And I mean, to dig up the gravel, all you need is a shovel. So you can do that with a stone shovel. I shouldn't have waited till I was in the Black Steel Age to do this. But now I got to clean up the rest of this. I'm going to need a bit more stone. I'm going to replace these, replace these, and, you know, probably even replace these. And I wanted to check in on our greenhouse while we were next door. And we do have quite a bit of... Stuff growing. We've got oregano, we've got cumin, vanilla, cardamom, cilantro, basil. Still got some butterfly grass. Now, I don't know how to collect this. If I can either break them with my hand or do I need to use a knife. Okay, so I can definitely collect it with a knife. You need at least a knife. You can probably get away with a... Uh, sickle. It says it can be grown in a quad planter. How? Uh, those are all growing, so I'm going to have to wait for them to finish growing. But, I mean, there's no seeds. Hmm. All right, well, when these finish growing, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to see if I can either put the plant directly in or what. Because it does say it can be grown in a quad planter, but I don't see how. Okay, so now we have some basil, some oregano, some vanilla. Vanilla, actually. So you dry it into this vanilla. And then you can combine it with ice shavings, sugar, and cream. And make ice cream. And then you can make a banana split. And I actually have bananas now. Oh, I don't have pineapple, though. Hmm... And yeah, so you can make strawberry ice cream by combining ice cream with strawberries, which I still don't have because it's too cold for them to grow and they only grow in March and March is already... Oh, in game, it's my birthday tomorrow. Nice. Uh, Yeah, it's just too cold in this environment for the strawberries to grow naturally. So what I'm going to need to do is upgrade the entire greenhouse so that I can use this trellis so you put strawberry plants in a trellis, but if I click on it, you need to upgrade the greenhouse. So that's going to take a lot of resources to upgrade this. I put new stones in, makes it look nice. And we have all of our stuff. So let's just toss this on. This might take a while. Uh, we are getting a little bit of stone now. In addition to just the gravel. I mean, um, the nuggets. Uh, one might not be enough for, uh, all the gravel I have. This might take a long time. <laughs> yes, this is going to take a long time. We'll be back eventually. Oh, this is funny. I'm sitting here just, you know. Oh, I got lapis. Uh, just sitting here processing through my gravel. I've only done a very little of all of it. And I'm just, you know, refreshing YouTube. And now before I tell you what I just saw, here's what I'm, uh, I'm sitting here thinking, what am I going to do for the rest of this episode? I've checked out my greenhouse. I'm processing down my gravel. I need to go collect iron and some more copper. I'm going to get quite a lot from this, but I'm going to need more copper. So I need more copper. I need more iron. I want to make more black steel. I want to check out my Greenhouse. Okay, I, this is about everything I can do in an episode. I can, but it might be a short episode. I want to do something else. I haven't played with dynamite yet in Terraformer Craft. And then I refresh YouTube, and Il Mango just posted his video eight minutes ago 
testing out powder kegs. So, yeah. <laughs> this keeps happening to me in my, in my Vault Hunter series with C, uh, CWG. I'll be editing the video of what I'm going to do in the next day or so, like for my next upload. And then he comes out for a video of doing the exact same thing that happened with the uh, nuclear, uh, the mech generators and whatnot. So it's just funny how this keeps happening. But yeah, um, you probably have seen how he does it. I'm, I'm going to be testing it out very shortly. Also, I've been saving up gunpowder from killing creepers. You can also craft your own gunpowder. I should point that out. If uh, you need sulfur, which you need sulfur ore for, saltpeter, again, you need to find that sulfur ore, and charcoal powder. You get the charcoal powder by crushing charcoal. But if you have access to graphite, you can essentially, you double this output, but you get an additional four. So, I mean, it's 50% more efficient to, if you can get your hands on just one graphite powder, and you get, what is it? Three graph, uh, four graphite powder per graphite. Yeah, it's just funny that that keeps happening. All right, I'll be back after I process everything else. Oh no, I, uh, I left the game running, collecting resources while I was downstairs getting food. And now I need food in game before I starve to death. I'm being attacked by creepers too. Uh, I don't have anything ready to eat. I think I have some apples somewhere. There we go. Apple salad. <laughs> enough to last me long enough to make some proper food. Oh yeah, so I made the other day. Uh, where did I put it? Tomato sauce. It's pretty easy to make. Tomatoes, garlic, and salt in water, in a pot, or in a vat. Oh, you make the mix to do it in a vat. But it's done the same way, just without the water. And then it turns into tomato sauce, which can be preserved. So you see it's still got a year. And that provides uh, 0.8 veggies, which is pretty good. But, you know, it creates one tomato, one garlic and get five. So that's a pretty good return. It helps you spread out your resources. But you can also use it to make well, burritos, pizza. You need it for pizza. Or you can just put it on a normal sandwich also. Uh, tacos. Let's see. I have a little bit of bacon left. A little bit of cheese. Bacon, cheese, and potato sandwich. Sounds yummy. And yeah, I'm just going to make myself a sandwich quickly. That way I'm fed in real life and in game. Although, uh, downside of bacon is it doesn't provide a lot of protein per piece. So it's probably better just to eat the whole pork chop as opposed to turn into bacon. I don't think there's anything special you can do with just bacon. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything. Wait, was that pepper there? Are... How come I haven't found peppers yet in game? OK, now I got to investigate this. Maybe it got disabled. So I remember peppers used to be in Terraformer Craft 1. Dot. I completely forgot about the bread. Um, 1.7 because um, Back in that version of Terraforma Craft, you got your different sort of peppers, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, depending on when you actually harvested the peppers. If if you harvested the peppers early in their growth, I think they were red or orange. And if you harvested them late, they were green. I could have that completely backwards. But yeah, I remember that. And I even mentioned peppers in episode one of this series. But I haven't found them and I, uh, yeah, there's no seeds visible. So maybe they've gotten, maybe they're disabled or someone forgot to activate a line of code. I mean, it happens. I think I'm just going to do all the bread. Uh, I mean, uh, 
So if you put bread in, you can get slices. Of course, a slice has half the should have half the grain value of bread. I'm confused. Let's do one. Oh, it has the full value. Okay. Well, then there's no reason to not make it into slices. Uh, the only downside is the bread loses its oven, its oven baked modifier, which helps it last longer. So, let's stick in there. It'll last up a good amount of time. But yay, now we've got a bacon, cheese, and tomato sandwich. Uh, potato sandwich. Bacon, cheese, and tomato probably taste better than bacon, cheese, and potato. Anyway. Now I'm fed. I. My leather flask is almost broken and they do have a iron flask that you can make with the uh, TFC water flasks mod, which is in this mod pack. So I might have to go make a iron flask because this has 400 durability, whereas this has 100. If I refill this one more time, it breaks and I can't use it anymore. So that might be something else I do today. But in the meantime, we're gonna run back and get back to work making, well, processing, sing, processing, processing gravel. Well, this has yielded us about 24 ingots worth of copper. So that's pretty good, especially since I'm down to two and I need to make a bunch more brass since I do need brass to make the brass funnel. Thankfully, it's only one ingot, but I also want to make a mechanical arm, though I don't actually really have a need for it at the moment. Oh, you know what else we can get started on today? Or, well, today or tomorrow? Oh, we're gonna need more steel for this. Hmm, because we can start making train tracks, and for the train casing, we needed the sturdy sheet, which needs obsidian powder, and, oh, we need to make the crushing wheels for that. Mm-hmm. And you can only make the crushing wheels in the mechanical crafter. And I don't currently have, I don't currently have enough mechanical crafters to craft a crushing wheel. I have 12 total. I'd have to take apart the ones we have for our bamboo. That's, that's not too bad. We can just repurpose them temporarily. Uh, but that's 12. So I would need another three crafts of the mechanical crafters in order to start making, well, in order to be able to make one set of crushing wheels. The thing is, I think the the uh, city is the only thing I'm really going to need the crushing wheels for because all of these dies I can get from the mill I've got. This millstone will do all the dies. I get gypsum from raw limestone. I didn't realize that. But yeah, all of this, all the other recipes I can get with the millstone. So the only thing I would need the crushing wheels for is to make obsidian powder. And I can collect obsidian now that I have a steel pick. So that's uh, another future project. Well, that took about four in-game days to get through all of it. But yeah, about 20, what well, I say, about 24 ingots worth of copper, uh, five ingots worth of gold, and almost seven, no, uh, seven ingots of silver and then quite a lot of basalt and even some chalk and i mentioned this the other day but what you can do with chalk turn it into a chalk brick and combine it with dye and again because i have the chalk mod in this mod pack we get chalk so i can actually how do i control which direction they're facing is it depends on where i think it depends on where on the block i am looking when i click yes okay but now we can leave chalk markings when we're in caves so we know where we were where we're going which way's out which way's in and we can do well, we can do different colors for different things we can have uh white for this way out we can do blue for hey there's i don't know I, actually i don't know uh, <laughs> we can do like yellow for gold and 
and uh, gray. Well, probably not gray. Gray would be hard to see. You get the idea. We can use different color chalks and mark them for different resources and also to show us the path in and out. Second thought, I might not want to use white for in and out since the lower tier of stone under my base is diorite. And I don't think white is going to show very well on a white stone. So maybe red for in and out because there isn't really any red that I have to worry about. Uh, there really isn't any red stones I have to worry about. Oh yeah. So, uh, and we can, and all, all you need is that chalk brick and any dye. I grabbed white because I had white on me, but if I wanted a blue, I could use blue. If I, Butterfly gives me orange, you know, foxglove. I doesn't, I don't think, oh, that gives me pink. You get the idea. But while we were cycling through, when we were doing all that, we got a cut lapis. And that's very important. Because if you remember the other day, I was looking at making a magnet upgrade for my backpack, but I needed lapis and I didn't have lapis. Now I do. So we can make the upgrade. <gasps> I actually got strawberries. That's amazing. How long are they going to last for? Four days. They're going to be rotted before you eat them. Uh, I did, however, put a bunch of the spices into here. They grow very slow. My hope is that I will get two back because what you do is you just plant the full. Uh, you just take the regular plant and you put it in and it will start as a small one. I'm hoping I place the small one in and then when it's fully grown, I can harvest and get more than one because otherwise there's no point in planting them. And uh, I noticed my my mule was missing. He was in the river over here, just bobbing up and down. He apparently can get out of here. I brought him in. He got back out. So now my mule is packed away with the alpacas. Oh. Uh, I'm glad I came in here when I did. These all need to be refilled because it is going to get very dark in here. And then I got to worry about creepers and whatnot spawning and trying to take out creepers next to animals. It's just a recipe for having less animals, especially if the creeper decides to blow up. In which case, you have a hole and a lot less animals. A whole lot less animals? I'm sorry. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about surprise skeletons or creepers in there next time I need to come by. And those will stay lit for quite some time. However, as I've said a few times, the reason I want to do blue steel is because blue steel allows you to pick up lava. If you make a blue steel lantern, you could put lava in the lantern and then it never burns out. It's better to make, well, in my opinion, it's better to make the blue steel lanterns and then you can just do away with making olive oil because, well, that is time consuming. All right, I've spent quite a bit of time off camera today, just doing a lot of busy work, res uh, resource gathering, processing, and whatnot. So we're gonna call it an end here. But before I go, if you haven't noticed, the past two weeks, I've had Terraformer Craft videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. That's gonna continue for the immediate future. My next Vault Hunter episode is giving me issues. I recorded way too much and editing it is being a pain. And at this rate, I'm looking at well over an hour long episode. So yeah, um, that's going to be a while still. But yeah, vo um, Terraforma Craft, Tuesdays and Fridays for the foreseeable future. Next episode, so Friday, we're going to be making some blue steel. Until then, thank you for joining me. I hope you've had a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Later.